time for another video. Last time we had some pretty quality Power Ranger figures. Oh, I say pretty quality, some of them were, so some of them weren't. Um, so this time we're going to go through some figures that are not Power Rangers, but also figures I bought around the same time because they kind of looked like Power Rangers. So I'll, I'll begin with the big one. Which is Masked Rider, um, or Kamen Rider... Kamen Rider Black RX. There we are. So in Japan, that's what the series is called. It crossed over here because Power Rangers was big, so they tried doing another thing. Um, and I believe it failed miserably. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, I got this figure really, really cheaply, which is incredible, because he's, he's really big, and like... His articulation's really good, and I will admit, I still really like this design. The whole, like, beetle-looking uh, face and stuff. And, oh boy, is Beatles going to be the theme of another series. Uh, se series? Series? <laughs> series of figures that I have lined up. Because, from what I hear, like, Master Ride is one of those things where, I think I looked it up on YouTube a couple of years ago, and mm. I was like... I don't remember it being this bad. Because <laughs> I, I loved it. I saw, I, saw, I saw a poster for years. I was like, it's alright, that is. But now it's just horrible. So, I don't know who this is. If anyone in the comments, uh, and well, anyone watching this, recognises this dude, please let me know. Because he's got an interesting design. He had wings. So, these two things here had joints where they'd come out as like mechanical wing kind of things so this dude is really interesting i can't tell if real or something you'd find in an ashton's video yeah i mean th this could honestly this could literally just be from some of the tokusatsu uh series from japan they just got the mold for and sold over here as like it looks badly painted yeah it's it's not very good um is literally two tones of colours. His design is really interesting. Is it white and gold or blue or black? Oh god, oh. <laughs> that is... Uh... Um, also, talking about figures that neither of us can identify, there's this guy who's like... elephant-themed almost. For the purpose of this video, can we just call him Jeff? <laughs> yeah, there we are. Well, th this is Armoured Jeff, or Elephant Jeff, or uh, Super Super Jeff Deluxe. But no, so his joints are really fucking wonky. Um, I think this is probably a Poundland kind of thing. But, oh wow, he can't even stand up. Uh, his legs are... He, oh, okay. Mad, he's had a mad night out, you know. No, yeah, he can stand up, but only... Oh, oh my god, no, okay. You sit You sit down, Jeff. There we are. <laughs> right, so, talking about Poundland stuff... These are definitely Poundland stuff. So, uh, now these, I think... I feel like I bought these a few years after I went off Power Rangers simply for the fact that um, I wanted to kind of army build, uh, if you don't know what that is it's basically just, you buy a bunch of cheap, um, similar looking bad guy figures, just for the sake of having, you know, an army or a set of bad guys for other things to fight uh, I think I planned on setting them up as like a part of a display with, you know, hero things, but yeah, they, these aren't that great. They've got five points of articulation, their arm doesn't move, so they're continually in this. I don't think they ever had anything they could hold, but maybe they did, and yeah, they're, they're generally just kind of pretty terrible Power Ranger knockoff things. Now... We're nearing the end of this video. This is quite a short video, actually. We're Next just halfway. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I mean, it well, probably... depends how much we talk about them. So, who remembers VR Troopers? I do. Glinders, and... Um, <laughs> I... Because I watched think... anything that remotely looked like Power Rangers. Yeah, I... Well, so I was kind of similar, but I bought anything that remotely looked like Power Rangers, because, <laughs> as, I, as I said in part one... I didn't have Sky. I only had five channels on my TV, which meant, well, until I was like 15, that unless uh, TV Network wanted to show all the episodes in order, uh, you know, I never saw anything. And I think VR Troopers came on TV like twice or yeah, something. Yeah, it came on TV like once or twice, but I saw it a lot on Box Kids. Yeah. Um, I quite like his design. He's he's a cool-looking dude, I think. Um, 
A little, a little tiny bit on the generic side. Really, he was my favourite. <laughs> I mean, he's cool, but like the things that make him stand out or whatever, sort of like, uh, oh, he's, he's silver and red, and like. Maybe I'm, too, I am a sucker for the combination of black and red. So maybe yeah. even as a kid, I like that colour combination. It is well. a maybe that also the part, also the idea that um, his finisher would be like a double sided laser sword, which looked a lot like Darth Maul's later on. Ah, I see. And it just looked amazing and it badass. Uh, also, there is... So I don't remember who she is, but... I can't remember her name, but same series. Yeah, um, she's a bendy rubber figure, which means you can sort of make her arms do natural poses like that. Natural. Uh, you know, if you want to try that at home, that's fine. It won't hurt you. It won't damage anything. But yeah, I don't know. I think I literally just bought this because, like, oh, man, it's more VR Trooper stuff. Um... She's not, you know, the best moulded because she's just a. Know the human body could do that. <laughs> she's just a, you know, lump of rubber really that's kind of painted over. Um, she does not stand up at all. And then next up, so th this is. I'm kind of glad that I've still got this set. I'm gonna have to move these guys aside to show you one of the bad guys and his hovercraft from VR I, Troopers. Whose name completely escapes me. Uh, <laughs> this guy. So I'm gonna take him off his. Um, off his floating thing. Uh, this guy is all kinds of insanely like dedicated to guns. So this guy has gun turret on his head, which you know that's already dedication. He's one of his hands is a double turreted gun, and like oh, just overall he's quite angular. I don't think those are guns, but they probably are. You, you know, th there's probably a part where. He puts his arms back like a ninja. I, th I think they're just baldrons. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, they look like baldrons. Yeah, but he's pretty cool. I do like his design because he's just all angular and sort of... He he looks like he's I you were dedicated to, say, to... I thought you were about to say, I like his design, he looks all angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, he he certainly does not look happy. Um, that is not a man you would like to anger, he really. He doesn't look anything, he's a robot. Yeah. Uh, is he a robot in the show? I can't I remember. Okay, and then the final group of figures are uh, Big Bad Beetlebogs, if anyone remembers those, because I sure as shit do. So actually, um, these are these are very nice figures. Actually, so out of all of out of all of the ones that I got together for this video. These kind of remain they as to stand the test of time. Yeah, the, these remain as genuinely quite nice figures. Now, obviously, you know your your appreciation of these may uh, sort of may rest on how much you like shiny chrome. Um, you know, sort of slightly campy superhero things. But as you can tell, these are all well, both then. These are both sort of beetle themed. Um, I actually watched. Because uh, Beetleborgs is on Netflix currently. Is it? I th well, it was uh, a few months ago. I know VR Troopers definitely is. I watch this. I watched Don't the watch this. I watched the first five episodes of Beetleborgs, and I won't lie, it is unwatchable. It's because that's what, that's what I was like when I watched Mass Riders. Like, is, hmm. is this? It's is not. It's worse than I remember. It. The the cast, the human cast of Beetleborgs are three kids, and yeah. I'm not gonna lie, like you know, not all not all child actors are annoying little shits, but genuinely, it is. I I could only make it through four episodes, and that was just fueled by nostalgia. And honestly, I I cannot recommend Beetleborgs like, remember, to anyone. I remember nothing other than the suits look nice. And, yeah, and it's also based off the same time whose name I can't remember. There's, so there was also the Beetleborg movie. Um, yes, there was a movie. Yes, which I had on VHS. I may still have it, actually. Or maybe it was just a feature like straight to video. Then. Yeah, or it, or it it literally may have just been like an hour long. Cause, 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 yeah, because when you say movie, I was like, it didn't have a Power Rangers style movie. <laughs> oh no, no, definitely. I was like, it didn't have a budget. <laughs> it was for sure straight to video, and I think. I think, these, I, I think I had the blue one. I think these are the um like suits they got in the movie slash whatever you want to call it, because I. I vaguely remember there was something like the White Beetle or whatever as well. So yeah, they had they had their powers changed, I think. Hmm. And and, and they nope. became like white, now, gold, purple. Or something. These figures aren't that good because they're they're very like standard and legs barely move. Like 
honestly, I don't know why I bought these as a kid because they're pretty bad to play with. Like, I, you... I think I was given that blue one. Hmm. Oh, the more I look at it, the more I think, is that from the show or is it just a Poundland thing? Or I, I can't. Yeah, I I'm pre- I'm almost a hundred percent certain these are the movie uh, armors that they had. I may have to check that. If I'm wrong, I'll put an annotation. But it's like maybe they're bad guys. Really. Yeah, I feel like though they got upgraded armor things because you can see here they did get upgraded because I remember the... there, there was one called Beetleborgs with Alex. Hmm. Ah, right. Yeah. So I think that's what came after, which is like. But as you can see here, so the blue's got that on his head, and then the new one's got kind of similar, but extended in a way, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, well, that wraps up our not Power Rangers, but Power Ranger kind of things video. Oh, well, not Power Rangers, but cashing in on it, Power Rangers. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to call this video, actually. Um, like Power Rangers. No, uh, no, 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 not really. Yeah. Some of them are... Yeah, some of these are legit. Spin off some bootlegs. Uh, yeah, spin off some. Actually, that's a very good that's title. Then again, it's not really a spin off either, but yeah. whatever works. Yeah, there we are. Right, so we'll be back for part three. Part three will be micro machines uh, related. It may go a lot quicker, it may go a lot slower. I don't know. I haven't actually looked at many of them. So stay tuned for part three.